Hi friends, welcome to this video. So in this video, we will be seeing about the content type. So how to create a content type. So about this part, we will be looking into a part wise that in a part one, we will be covering a two topics that is how to create a new content type, how to add a fills in a content type. So first, pre-most, we will just see the, what is a content type. So that I would like to explain by showing some websites called Amazon.in. So here you can see in the Amazon website, we have a few card formats in which the content uh, is not repeating, but the structure of the content is repeating. Here you can see we have one title and the list of images and at last we have one link called as Explorer. So the same is repeating here as well, title, images, link, title, images, link, title, list of images and link. So this is something content is a different, but the structure of the uh, content type is the same. So this is what the content type called as. Content type is nothing but a predefined structure or we can say kind of a template. So by using that template, we can create a multiple contents through it. So now we will be seeing that content type, how to create in a Drupal. So for that, first we need to click on a structure and here we will see about the content types. So here we just need to click on add content type and here it will be asking a uh, name for the content type. So we will just try to um, make uh, this uh, content type itself like title images and one link we will be just gonna adding up. So anyway title is not needed that is by default it will gonna come up. So first I'll just give the content type name for it. So I would like to give as a card uh, or else I would like to give a Amazon. Amazon content. I'll just give it and description. This content type is for Amazon website. So here I have provided the description for this content type. And here we have a few many uh, like a few uh, customizations. Like we can just give a title field label. So here I'll give as Amazon. I'll just give as an Amazon here and preview before submitting so that we can just disable it or we can make that as a mandatory or we can make it as an optional. So those every customization you can just manage it as according to your need and default options also we have a few like publish promoted to front page. So I'll just keep this promoted to front page. We can create a new revisions also and we can make this as a, a sticky at top of list. So as of now I don't want this to be sticky at top of list. And display settings also we can make, um, we can manage. So I'll just make this as a check-in that author and date information I just wanted in my UI. And menu settings also we can make. So right now I don't want uh, this should create as a menu in my website. So I'll just uncheck this and I'll just save and manage the fills. So just click on it. So here you can see the content type that is Amazon underscore content has been added. So by default, we would be having a one body section for this. So this is nothing but about the description. So if we want, we can just edit it here. So for this content type, I would like to give this label as a description here instead of body. And uh, here we can just do the help text as well so, or else we can just ignore it. And this field, the body field that is which we have renamed to description that we can make it as a um, uh, mandatory as well by giving some validations. So here I won't check uh, this as of now. I'll just ignore it and I'll just save the settings. So now you can uh, see that body label is been renamed to the description, but this machine name won't get renamed by because this is the first name only it will going to take it up. So now here we can just add a few fields as well. So now I want to add up a, a image field here. So here you can see the list of our fields, which and all we can just add up like email, date, link and all. So now I want to add an image field here. So I'll just select the image and we can just give the name for this um, uh, field. So I'll just give as upload image as the label for this field. Click on a save and continue. And here you can see, uh, let's say if the image is not being submitted by user while filling the content, then we can just uh, give one default image as well if we want or if we don't want, we can just ignore it. 
uh, and here uh, like how many number of images uh, were they are supposed to add up those limit also we can just provide it here or we can make it as unlimited as well so this everything would be based on our requirement so i'll just give one here as of now the limit and i'll just click on save for settings so now you can see the status message like update field upload image for settings so this is updated now and here you can see this upload image is there right this we can make it as a mandatory uh, by giving a validation so i'll make this as a mandatory to just add up and uh, here you can see the few file extensions that to which and all images it will gonna allow so that we can just manually customize it and the next is about the image resolution so the maximum minimum Im image resolutions that also we can just give it up here and uh, size image size also we can just give it here so as of now i'll just ignore it and uh, here we can just give few validations on a alternative uh, name for the images like uh, if uh, sometimes the images won't used to get a reload due to internet issues or sometimes due to the image issues so at that time we can see the alternative name uh, i mean an uh, image name we can just look into it so that we can enable it or we can just disable it so i'll just check this both boxes that field is required i'll make mandatory and enable title field also if we want we can make it or just we can ignore it so i'll just click on save settings so now this is just got saved so here you can see two fields i have already added in my content type called as amazon underscore content so i would like to add one more uh, field called as a link so i'll just click on a link here and for this name i'll just give it as explore all as uh, they have given in a Amazon website right so I would like to give the same as I explore all or else I'll just give it as a link only that would be better Amazon link or uh, huh, yeah save and continue and here we can give the number of values how many it has or it has to ask so i'll just give it as a one save hmm. so now this is also updated and this is about the la uh, label that is a link we can make it as a required field or we can just ignore it so i'll make this as a mandatory and here we can see whether it should allow to only internal links external links or both that we can just manage it uh, based on our requirement so as of now i'll just give all the default itself and here if the link is not been selected by the user we can just give the default link as well so those are every optimization every customizing options we have in our drupal so now you can see the three fields i have just added it up here right so now what i'm gonna do is that i'm just gonna create a one content so i'll just open this content in a new tab and here you can see i can just create the uh, content by using some content type also so what I will gonna do is that I'll just click on a content, add content and here you can see this content type is been added which we just now have created that is Amazon underscore content. So I'm just gonna click on it and here you can see it is asking the title. So here based on this only uh, I'll just create it. So I'll just copy this, revamp your home in a style and if we want we can just give a description for this. So I would like to give some uh, cushion covers, bed sheets and more like that. Cover, bed sheets. Oh fine. So this is something uh, I'll just give a random uh, description. And here we can see we can just uh, give some uh, images for this. So as of now the images I'll just upload it what I have. So I don't know what image it is. Anyway fine. Just to show this, I am just including it. So here I have just included the rose image. And I will just give some alternative text for this rose. And here uh, URL, we can just provide it. Link text, I would like to give as a explore. All, like this I will give. And some uh, in, uh, link also we can just provide it. So I will try to copy some link from here itself copy link address and I will just paste it here anyway this is external so both it will accept I see mm, 
start typing the title of piece of content is selected okay fine anyway this has been started with http so we can just go ahead and here i'll just save this and one more thing like uh, here if you want if you want then you can just give the aliasing as well that here i'll just give as a amazon i'll just give it otherwise if you won't give it will take in the form of a node format so here i'll just give that as the amazon url link and here we can it's not taking that url it seems anyway let me just save it once again hmm. so now i have saved it uh, a only file okay it is this is asking the limit that um it would be taking only the png gif and jpg so i'll just save some of the images from here only save image as and the same image i'll just up, try to upload it here if you ask that question So now you can see that content is been added in my front page so here you can see the link is added with the explore all and if i just click on it i have given this uh, this link address only i have just given so it will taking me uh, redirecting to the that uh, url address what i have just clicked on it so this is the upload image and this is the link so this is how we can just create our content by just creating one a content type so uh, here we have covered the how to create a content type, how to add a fields in a content type. So in the next video we will be seeing about the part 2. Thank you guys for watching.